Whoa. Okay, with Guardian fights. Oh, no. Fight this bitch in the open here. Fortunately, I cannot find the pylon. I mean, to help me with this guy, so. This 33.7 trillion HP is gonna have to be done the old fashioned way. At least it wasn't Saxtrus. I should have put punishment sooner. So, I mean, I already did, um. This is almost 10%. Not 10% of the HP already. So, that's why, like, 3 1, it's like that Zyze is really kicking in, because when you only have one mob and you go 2 1, sometimes you don't even get the. You have to pause between two, so you really don't save that much time. This is where the raw power goes in for 3 1. It's when mobs have more HP. That's why I want to try it to higher grade. Like, if you're. Actually, I should probably get a 2 1 set for speed grips because mobs die so fast. I just kind of use the similar gear. But 3 1, it's just less ROVs, but they hit kind of hard. The funny thing is, like, when I did Saxtrus in 68, because you have to kite the ads, it took like 20 something minutes. Maybe 20 flat. But this should take like 10 minutes. It's going to be a little bit slower in the second half of the HP. But without ads pissing me off, and Stampede hitting me into mo this bitch almost all the time, it's fine. So yeah, this is why Nats is better than UE for soloing, but once not for soloing, sorry, for Rift Guardians in groups. But if you get a fat guy, you know, the blue balls will hit twice and the mob will be perma stunned anyway, so you'll be able to make up that time. So I'm just hoping. I mean, I'm 4 for fucking 12 for 60% upgrades. So I had to do an extra 68. I wanted to only do 3 max. But I got 4 out of 12, so. That was bad. Because I'm upgrading 4 gems. Now all but Bane of Power 4 at 69, and yeah, like I said, they're low as fuck because I didn't do the 1%, so I was busy speed drifting and getting my Paragon up. And yes, 1%, you can still get pretty decent experience, but I found it faster just to say to it. You know, plus I figure if you do enough speed drifts, you're going to get a bunch of 50 keys, so I can Seder all that shit for 1% and get more XP that way. You know? But if you don't supply your own keys, you know, someone else will probably save it. It's fairly straightforward, just 1, 2, 3, and go. I mean, it seems to work. I mean, I'm supposed to have like one more CDR, but that was shit balls. Yeah, I missed one. I think there's like less than 0.1 seconds where sometimes I have to wait. If that extra shape doesn't hit this guy. There's not a big deal. You don't want to sacrifice too much DPS just so your gloves have 8 CDR. No. You definitely want 8 CDR on the shoulders. Unless it's like an ancient and you got 15 ROV or 7 CDR roll. Yeah. Shit.
I don't think this bitch sounds bad. Well. It's, just, it's just the one that does the fire shit. The only problem with this build is if you don't kill a mob and he has like 10% HP left, it's still high enough for. That's just a low HP non elite. For a strafe to not really kill it, so you, get, you might have to waste an extra ROV or pray it goes to the next group. So, 3-1 in action. So, to make 3-1 work, you need to have just raw power damage. No CDR in rings. And just that 46 and the 8 CDR on. Whoa, grab right like that. Yeah, 8 CDR on gloves and shoulders, 10 on both weapons, and then Paragon. And the helmet gem. So that equals 46. I mean, it's actually more than 46 CDR, but you know, not all of it's like just straight additive. Like one CDR gives like point six extra total CDR. So, yeah. You guys have just gotta watch for that fire wave and the teleport and that swirly shit behind. Yeah. yeah, but you really need balance lineup because even at 61 or 62, these guys will have like a trillion HP. No. Close to 2 trillion, but not quite. Probably 1.5. This is definitely more than doubled in 62. I have to get the right density. I mean, I could clear 62 with this gear. I still want the gnats and the gem upgrades, but. It's possible, it's just too many apexes that can fuck you up, so it's just a big fishing fest. Oh shit, that smoke stream is a little too soon. Good work done, okay. Oh, this gets boring as fuck. I think after a while in groups you get tired of this, but I'm actually training myself because I did a bunch of 68 and 69 solos. I get my hands just used to this. So at the end of the season, when I really need to do a shitload of these for solo, yeah, I totally fucked that one up. Then I'll be fine. No, let's ignore the fact that I missed that. I was adjusting my headset. Without pausing, out of range of that. Now. That's not too bad. I mean, if you do a bunch of 1% even at 50s, it's gonna take. God damn it. Well, there goes my total stacks. And yeah, you probably shouldn't wolf on the first ROV, you want, because the second one is gonna get that extra bonus. But I just did it anyway. I mean, CDR is high enough for it to come back pretty soon. And I try to um, use it right when I ROP. 
so that big ROV hit takes the wolf, then you can probably get two more ROVs before the wolf wears out. Actually, this is probably faster than 10 minutes. I know at 58 it's like 3 minutes. And this is probably triple the HP at 58. So. Well, I am recording this, so you'll see how long it is anyway. The good thing is I did start the, all the Talgon snacks up. I haven't got lag spikes this time. Yeah, hold on. Fucking headset. Okay, there you go. Oh, totally. Fuck that up. So, some people click their ROVs. I like to just aim it and just be able to control my basic fires and straights with the mouse click. Ah, that's the worst. Man, if I ever face this guy and die, like, say, like awareness was up already. Due to that, I'm gonna feel bad. But this actually, higher grader rifts like this, allows you to train for the rift guarding. You'll be a lot more prepared. I mean, you generally know what they're all doing, but you don't know at what percent. Maybe if you have a shield pylon, you want to wait. So sometimes, anticipate what's going on. It's not sure that. So, probably three more hits. One. Oops, they totally thought I hit that. Two. And three. Oh, shit. Okay, well, if he dodges it, that's a nice time to repair him. This XP is still probably higher than just doing Torment 6 all day. Alright, let's see my luck. Please, no more 0 out of 3s. Wow. Okay. Cool. So, one more. Size, because I'm going to focus on the UE thing first. Okay, 2 out of 3, that's what you expect. Thank you. See, much faster than 1%. Now let's see the time on this. I think it's over. An hour. hour 14. So, a little bit slower than the hour 9. But not a big deal. Alright. Well, that's basically it. 69 clear. I'm going to record another one. Just going to use up all these keys. Got four left. Alright, until next time. Peace out.